Chelsea are now working on a big deal and it's Enzo Fernandez. Chelsea are on it. Chelsea are really pushing for Enzo. Hey guys, happy new year from Fabrizio Romano. I wish you a fantastic 2023. As always, we are here on the channel to keep you posted on the transfer market. The transfer window is open today, and so get ready. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy January transfer window. But now guys, let's jump into the updates about Chelsea and not only together. And guys, back on back here on the channel, I want to start with the here we go, this new year, the last here we go of 2022, or maybe the first of 2023, depends on how you want to judge it, but is done. Manchester City will sign a new top talent. It's called Maximo Perrone, born in 2003, Argentinian midfielder playing for Vélez, one of the best talents in South America in his position. The deal is almost done. It will be completed in the next hours, in the next days, but there is an agreement with the player, there is an agreement which will be with the release clause triggered by Manchester City from Vélez. They will pay $8 million plus taxes to sign Maximo Perrone. Big talent. His value a few months ago was way more than the release clause, but Man City have been really fast, very good relationship with people close to the player. And so, deal in place. Maximo Perrone to Manchester City. Here we go. What will happen? He will join the club after spending the Sudamericano sub-20 with Javier Mascherano, with Argentina, so with the Yacht team of Argentina. He will stay with them, then in two months he will be in England and then he will sign the contract with Manchester City, but the deal is done. So, Man City, not City Group, Man City, for Maximo Perrone, they hope to repeat the Julian Alvarez deal, which was very successful, they paid around 17 millions, and now they have one of the best and most talented strikers in the world. Then let me touch on Chelsea, about uh, young players, you know that they signed David Atrofofana, is official, Andre Santos is in London, the Vasco da Gama midfielder born in 2004, and he completed the medical test, so everything is signed, everything is done, Andre Santos to Chelsea was a here we go weeks ago, and now is absolutely completed, but it's not over because Chelsea are now working on a big deal and it's Enzo Fernandez. Chelsea are on it. Chelsea are really pushing for Enzo. He's a concrete target. We know that they are having conversations with Benfica. What happened? They didn't have any talk on uh, Saturday, but in the next hours and in the next days, next week especially, is going to be key moment. Deal is advanced. Deal is really advanced because Chelsea and Benfica are speaking, thanks also to the agents of the player, about the structure of the deal. Chelsea don't want to pay 120 million euros in one solution, so the release close, but they are trying to find a solution with Benfica with different payment terms. Benfica are expected to give a final answer very soon, but Chelsea are pushing and also the player. Enzo Fernandez played against uh, Braga because he respected Benfica, he respects the club and the president Rui Costa, but he wants Chelsea. He's really pushing to go to Chelsea. So there is an agreement between Enzo Fernandez and Chelsea, but now it's up to them to close the deal with Benfica. Let's see what happens in the next days. At the moment, the feeling is that the deal is advanced, but is not closed yet. So we have to wait for the green light. And then, guys, it's important uh, to mention also what happens about uh, Chelsea uh, situation with N'Golo Kante. He's out of contract at the end of the year. The situation was very complicated in October, in November, in December. Negotiations between Chelsea and Kante were difficult, with Chelsea planning to rebuild the midfield, to sign young midfielder. So that was the plan. But what's happening? That I always told you in my videos, uh, N'Golo Kante would love to stay at Chelsea. He loves the club. He loves the city. He loves the fans. He has a very good relationship with all the teammates. And so now the focus is on coming back from his injury. But the last conversations with his agents have been Positive. Positive conversations because Kante is prepared to accept different kind of terms to stay at Chelsea. So a few months ago it was really complicated and the feeling was for Kante to leave Chelsea on a free. Now it's a 50-50 between Kante and Chelsea. There are chances for him to stay, there are chances for him to leave, but the negotiation is different now with different kind of feelings. So let's see guys how it will evolve in the next days, weeks and months. But now between Kante and Chelsea, there is a conversation to discuss a new contract and this is an important one to follow in the next months. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. Enzo Fernandez, N'Golo Kante, of course, Maximo Perrone to Manchester City. I wait for your comments here. Guys, subscribe to the channel because the exciting 2023 is starting here on Fabrizio Romano channel on YouTube. Every day, videos, updates, stories. So subscribe, like this video, turn on the notification bell. You're not gonna miss any story and see you soon with Fabrizio. Happy New Year. Ciao.